<laughs> Give me a toy. Give me a toy. Give me. Give me a toy. Give me it. So there you are, guys. The boys have gotten huge. They've gotten huge, man. They look like yearlings and they're not even six months old. Town and Fang up playing around. Give me a toy. Give me it. Give me a toy toy. <laughs> They've gotten huge. They're monsters. <laughs> Give me a toy. Give me. Give me a toy toy. Go 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 go. Give me guys. Get the toy. <laughs> They've already started losing their puppy teeth too. Their adult teeth are coming in. Everything. They're pretty much for the most part house trained and they go up and down the steps and they go out in the yard now too. So the boys are growing up, getting big. Getting big, big. Give me a toy. Give me a toy. Give me a toy. Give me a, get him, Fang. Get him, Fang. Get him. Give me a toy. <laughs> right, Fang Fang. Right, Fang Fang. I know, you get bored easy. <laughs> Brother, there's hogging the toy. <laughs> Alright, on to the models. <laughs> Greetings, my model maniacs. Pants Man Bill, Pants Man's Bunker. Coming to you with update scheme number three of the MIG group build. Oh, oh, oh. UK scale modeler. Okay. I mean, yeah, woo. MIG. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Alright, let's, let's take a look. <laughs> Remember last time? Jeez, Mel, the make looks good. She was real shiny, and then the, the, the camouflage was real gaudy, and and and, and everything. What'd you do? Eh. You look closely. Uh, Yavol, hey, hey, what'd you do? Yavol. You look closely. It's all raised panel lines, so I had to go in real carefully with the uh, wash and fleck out all the different panel lines and such. And to unify everything, once that was done, I, I clear-coated it, and then I went in with a, uh, a filter. I used a uh, sand, real light sand, white, and khaki together, and then did a filter over the whole model. And it toned down everything real, real nice, as you can see. Toned down the, the, the high contrast of the camouflage, and uh, toned down the um, panel line wash and everything. So they're really unified. Got everything looking at like one piece. Uh, so it's a good filter, old school. You don't got to go out and buy some uh, newfangled crap from some pseudo celebrity in a modeling profession. It's called old school filter. It's a, basically a wash. You make a, a enamel wash. You go in and it just uh, it'll tone down whatever camouflage you got going on. So I'm pretty happy with how she's looking. Just a regular old panel line work and then a filter filter over top of it it's got everything looking real unified and for the bottom i did the same thing i used the same wash on the bottom and it, it really like dirtied it up and unified everything all right so that's that i'm going to show you what i did next i got the missiles done up ready to be attached i used a regular old uh marker Use a real sharpie marker, and I basically went in and drew all the lines and all the detail on the missile itself. Even gave a little indication of like the uh, the optic in the front. So that's a real quick, easy way of doing the missiles. I'll clear coat this and then uh, give it a wash and everything. It'll be ready for attachment. I even got the uh, canopy all painted up, hand painted it, and everything. Got it ready for uh, what I'm going to do with the ejecting pilot. Now I'm going to show you the uh, pilot himself. I did a little drag shoot, used the back end of a bomb, cut it off, hollowed it out a little bit, used some uh, styrene uh, dowel to make the, the, the ropes for it. Got it trailing off, so there's a little drag shoot once you popped uh, the ejection uh, shot out and then you dragged it back, the uh, shoot. 
So this is what I got going on so far. The MIG's looking good. Everything's about ready for me to start building the, the shadow, the, uh, the, the force perspective diorama box. And I'll have this all on it. I have probably a little jet, little jet exhaust for the shooting out of the cockpit. I have some smoke coming off the back of the MIG and everything. But uh, everything's looking real good. Oh, I got to check out the plane. Holy crap, no. <laughs> oh, also I wanted to tell you, along with the uh, force perspective on this, since I will make it a force perspective, like the, the backdrop with, uh, you know, skyscape and everything, and it's having uh, the pilot ejecting and the smoke, I'm gonna, this is the Iraqi MIG. I'm gonna use this kit. It's the Trumpeter 144 scale Phantom 2 F4 Phantom. I'm gonna make this an Iranian Phantom. This is gonna be the plane that shot down the MIG. He's gonna be in the background, trailing him down as he's going down, as the jet's going down, he's ejecting out. This guy's gonna be in the background, watching, it, watching the kill go down. So I'll be using this kit. I'll be, uh, I have to do something with the pilots that doesn't come with pilots. I have to scratch build some pilots and the markings. I came across some. Uh, yeah, Bill, what you do? <laughs> I came across some markings, uh, 72nd scale Iranian uh, Phantom markings, and I'll be uh, scanning them down on a computer and printing them off. And and so I have one 144 scale uh, Iranian Phantom markings. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, hurry. We got the plan. You just sit back and relax. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> One of the other uh, modelers out there is doing an Iranian uh, F4 Phantom and 72nd scale, and he gave me the idea, so I'm going to use this with the uh, MIG. So, 1144th one, one, one and a 72nd scale It'll be a nice force perspective. And it'll be coming down this way. Ah, I shot you down, you bastard. You're going down in flames. Allah be praised. <laughs> Alright, that's the plan, that's, that's why I'm sticking to it. <laughs> and there's the boys, they're shot from earlier. They were playing very hard and they take one of their naps. Fang's got no shame letting it all hang out. <laughs> keep building, fellas, keep building, keep having fun. Good group build, enjoy watching every bots' progress. Until next time, Panzerman build, Panzerman's bunker saying, Auf Wiedersehen, mein Diamond and Heron. Woo! Waka waka. Tschüss!